Hi, and welcome to the April edition of According to Pete. Thank you for tuning in. I have another project video for you this month. I was up late one night, three or four weeks ago, and I was watching uh, Back to the Future. You know, the flux capacitor, everybody knows that's, that's a bunch of, you know, I, don't, I, I probably can't say crap. It's three light strings that go to a center, central point and, it, and it's a Hollywood prop. Time travel's not possible, right? But is it? What if there was like a current flow this way and a current flow that way and a current flow this way and the fields were interacting in such a way and what if you actually pulse them, kind of disrupt the flow of time? They had it wrong though. It's not three, man. It's four. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the time cube. So let's talk about uh, theory of operation of the time cube, shall we? So, um, <laughs> there's a, a resistor there. You put current in here and you take current out here. So we got a plus here, we got a minus here, and I've rigged this thing so it works on 12 volts. All right, so you can plug this straight into your car, just like in the movie. Within this geometry, and the geometry of this thing is critical, um, there, there is an Arduino connected to certain points in the circuit and this is you know it's it's not just structure it is a functioning circuit but what it does is it causes um, the current to flow through different paths by means of grounding out certain points in the circuit there's also some LEDs in here and uh, you um, uh, I will tell you the truth Thomas Edison came to me in a dream Tom? That's right, Pete. It's your friend, Thomas Edison. Let's create time travel. How do I do that, Tom? You need to invent a time cube. Out of what, Tom? Light bulbs? Use a lot of resistors. Resistors. And a Pro Mini. And LEDs. Tom, that sounds stupid. You have to trust me, Pete. And so I did it. By his direction, I took it out in my car, and I tried to make it work, and it didn't work. And I was really unhappy, and I took it in, and I went to sleep that night. And Thomas Edison came to me again, but before he could really get started, um, Gary Busey showed up. Pete, you're getting close to figuring it out. But out, Tommy, it's me, Gary Busey. Gary? You need to rethink the time cube. What's wrong with it? Time travel is all a perception of the mind. Perception of the mind, right, okay. You have to return to the drawing board to refocus the mind's eye. You got it, Gary Busey. So I put this thing together and uh, here's something else they told me. They told me that the 88 mile per hour thing was sort of right, but they had it wrong. 88 miles per hour is a load of malarkey. It's all about 22. 22, okay. Welcome to According to Pete. So, now, you can hear this thing doing its thing. This is, this is something that um, Gary talked to me about. He said that uh, when, when, it's, uh, when it's reaching optimum uh, cyclic effect, uh, it'll, it'll play a little country music riff. So here we go. Let's see if we can get it up to 22. Uh, there it is, here we go. Well, that didn't work. Hang on, let me try it again. Steady the time cube. All right, here we go. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Hang on a sec. Ah, crap. Okay, dude, I got the polarity wrong on this thing. What's the upshot of that? Instead of driving forwards, I have to drive backwards to make this work. So I guess I'll, uh, Drive backwards. Here goes nothing. Well, that didn't work either. That is the last time I trust Gary Busey. Keep your questions and comments coming. Put them in the comments section below. Send feedback to feedback at sparkfun.com with according to Pete in the subject line. See you next time.